Sometimes we're going to have a massive foundation, such as the type that support an elevator shaft. In this video, we're going to be adding a foundation slab to the bottom of our elevator shaft. Then we're going to cut a hole in it for our sump. And I'm going to go down to my top of footing level. Now I'm going to zoom in here. We're going to actually model a giant thickened slab. It's not going to be the same as adding a predefined size right here. We're going to actually sketch it out so we have six inch of bearing. So I'm going to go to the structure tab. This time I want to click on slab. For my foundation slab, I'm going to click on edit type. I'm going to hit the drop down here and I'm going to select 10 inch foundation slab. I'm going to click OK. Now on my draw panel, notice that we now have pick walls, which is pretty cool because if we pick walls and offset it, and if these walls move, well, guess what? Our slab is going to move with it. My offset, let's go with six inches. Now I'm going to hover over one of these walls. I'm going to hit my tab key, then I'm going to select them. I'm going to hit escape a couple of times. Now what I want to do is I want to put a two foot hole here. So I'm going to click on my pick lines button now. I'm going to give it an offset of six inches. I'm going to go from the inside face of this wall in, then I'm going to go down. Now I'm going to click on my pick lines again. I'm going to give it an offset of two feet. So I just type in two in my offset dialog. I'm going to come down two feet. I'm going to come over two feet. I'm going to hit escape. Now I'm going to use my trim command. I'm going to type TR for trim. I'm going to pick here to here, then from here to here, and then from here to here. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on finish edit mode. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Now these arrows here indicate which way our span direction is going. We can either align it, we can delete it, or if you hit escape a couple times, go ahead and select your slab again. What we can do if we want to go back in and edit this, we can click on edit sketch. And if we want our span direction to go in a different way, we can click on span direction here. And I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to click on this line and our span direction will go that way. I'm going to click on finish edit mode again and our span directions going the other way. Now what I'd like to do is go to a 3D view. Let's zoom in here to make sure everything's good and we've got it. Now if we hold down the shift key and the wheel button, we can scroll underneath here and notice now we have our hole in here for our sump pit. I'm gonna scroll back around. If we come all the way down, we can look straight down on it and we can see our pit. Pretty simple, but this is how you're going to add a giant foundation without using a predefined footing. 